All right, welcome to the last lesson of Unit 4. We're going to look at inverse functions, uh, in particular inverse uh, functions of radical functions. So let's go ahead and get started. So here's the discovery problem, and you'll notice that this video is pretty short. It, I want you to spend a good portion of the time actually doing work on your own. So go ahead and copy this down and then press play, and we'll take a look at the first question. All right, so here's this formula. You've actually seen it before, and it gives the period of a pendulum, which is t in seconds, expressed as a function of the length of the pendulum, which is l in feet. So for part A, I want you to find the lengths of the pendulums that produce periods of one second, two seconds, three seconds, four, all the way through eight seconds. And before you go ahead and start doing things, I want you to think about what you're going to have to do. And I want you to come up with a method and process that will make it most efficient. So you have to do the least amount of work. Go ahead and organize your um, answers in a table. And then once you've done that, go ahead and press play. And we'll talk briefly about what you're going to do for part B. All right. So... Notice that what you could have done, instead of potentially plugging in your t values and solving for l over and over again for all eight of these t values, is you could have went ahead and just solved for l straight off the bat. And if you do so, you'll notice that you'll end up with an equation that is l is equal to 8 t squared over pi squared. So if you don't see that, go ahead and solve this equation for L so that you get this here. And what I want you to do is then look at your formula for T, look at your formula for L, and I want you to write at least two sentences. How are these functions related to one another? I want to give you a hint. Pay attention to what type of operation is happening to the independent variable in each of these functions. Come to class ready, and we'll discuss tomorrow.